we are back today and we are going to be creating the signatures for our flip-flop journal. I'll wait a minute. I kind of didn't let anyone know or remind them that I was going to be on today, so I might be alone today, but I'll give it just a minute um, to, um, to let people trinkle in and I'm going to go shut my door real quick. Hi there. Might just be a few of us today, so we'll see. How is everyone doing today? Hopefully well. After last week's uh, fiasco of trying to make, hey Susan, you made it. Um, trying to make the journal. Susan, did you, were you able to make a journal on your own? Um, I'm going to start moving this stuff out of the way. Oh, welcome, Debbie. I'm so happy to have you here. So, um, show of hands, who has a journal? Hi, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, do you prefer to go by Elizabeth or Elizabeth Rose? And you are the sweetest, like... Your words literally made me tear up. I think this is my the one I'm going to work on. I have a few that I was trying to um, to see if the, you know these were the prototypes. It shouldn't be that hard, and I don't think it is. I think it was more um, like I was making it more technical, and it could have just been more like easygoing. Um, Oh, hi, Lisa. Well, enjoy your workout. Um, you're going to make one today. You've made two so far. They aren't decorated. Okay, perfect. While you guys are on there, I was going to show you our friend, Bonte, who was on the call with us last week. Look, she already started decorating, like, the bottom. And look how beautiful. Hold on, let me get rid of that. Look how beautiful that came out. Isn't that pretty? And I think I have another one. That's her her front cover. So she's a little ahead of us and she couldn't make it today. But I wanted to show you guys so you see, like you get an idea of what you could do. So what we're gonna do today, um, <laughs> oh, Liz, I love Liz. So, okay, Liz, and I'll think of um, Pride and Prejudice. So yeah, isn't it pretty? Okay, so I think this is it because I, like left this stuff in here from last week. So what I thought would be the easiest way to start it would be to, I think I'm going to go ahead and I have some paper clips here and then I have my, some of my printed papers and then I cough, actually coffee and tea stained some stuff. I actually just tea stained I haven't done it in a long time. I was doing more coffee dyeing and look how pretty this came out. I actually think that I like the tea staining maybe a little bit more and also then it doesn't smell as much. I, know, I don't know if you guys like the smell or not. And this, I just, um, I did a bath like in a big um, like roasting pan. I did hot water and then I did a bunch of bags of tea different types of tea mostly black I think my mom is the tea drinker and so when she comes I have tea so I went in her stash and <laughs> grabbed some tea and then I let it seep overnight and then I just dipped the papers in and then these all dried outside in the sun so uh, which I like you guys saw these I think are coffee dyed and these I did in the oven and they started crisping up, which is kind of scary. I mean, the, the look is really nice, but it's kind of scary to, to think that, you know, I mean, if you don't watch them, they could catch fire. So anyways, okay, so we're going to go, we're going to start with this one. And so we decided last week that we're going to do four signatures. So I'm going to pull papers from all those piles and I'm going to do four um, four signatures with, I'm thinking three to four pages each. 
what what do you guys think oh yes yeah, susan so you know what i did so here you can see there's some i don't know if you if it's catching on camera or not but there's like pink right here that's actually a food coloring and i had an old um Oh, what do you call that? Um, soap dispenser, like a hand soap dispenser, like a small one. And I just did some food coloring and I mixed a bunch of colors. I did like purple with orange and pink. And um, because it like had settled it, so I got like a variation of color. I got like some brown and then some pink and that was cute too. Um, I know that I'm trying not to put anything chemical in there since it's like a roasting pan and I probably should get one that's just for that. But anyways, so, um, okay. I'm going to try to put you guys, sorry if I make you dizzy for a second, I'm going to try to lift you guys up a little bit. Ooh, raspberry tea, blueberry. And then, yeah. And so, um, hold on. Who said that? Um, Liz, so are you ironing it while it's wet? And so that is another thing is I noticed that I, so what I did was after they dried outside, I ironed them once they were dry, but not while they were wet. But I noticed there was a paper and it had like a dark smudge on it over here. You can see those like dark smudges. And then I realized it was on my iron. So I'm going to have to clean the iron, which stinks. But that's because I was impatient last time. And I think I got some coffee in it. So um, look at this one. This is cute. I tried some like kind of eco prints. And you can kind of see the, um, the leaves in the background. It didn't do well. Like I've seen people, you know do like beautiful prints. It wasn't like that, but I also didn't sit there and spray and stuff. Um, let me look at the comments real quick. Damp with a towel or paper over it makes it faster. Okay. Okay. I'll have to try that then. So are you submerging? Did I say that word right? Are you putting your papers in the, the tea dye or coffee dye and letting them completely get soaked? before you're doing that because you're saying damp so I'm thinking like maybe you're just spraying them on so while you guys are talking I'm going to go ahead and start um, pulling signatures actually I need this here on this one on all my signatures I probably want it to go over the edge like this so that I can see them um, but that's just me it's up to you how you prefer to do it um and I'm going to mainly be using these as a base. And then I will, I think that's good. No, just spritz with, okay. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like it can't be soaked. Um, I was watching a YouTube video and that's how they're doing like the, they take the stencils, so grab my stencil. Hang on one sec, sorry, I got caught, my shoe got caught. Um, they take the stencil and then they have the tea or coffee in a spray bottle and then they spray it and it leaves this really beautiful pattern. And then if you lay something on top of that, then you get like the ghost pattern, which is really awesome. And Lori is not here with us today because this week, I think some of you guys already know, but um, coffee mix with a little bit of, oh, okay. I put vinegar in mine, but maybe, um, maybe I'll do, I'll try alcohol. Um, Susan, thank you. Isn't that pretty? Um, it, I know it's Essie, but I don't know. I'll get you the color. Um, but anyways, I was saying about, about, um, Lori, she is not here with us because if you guys know, her son is in the military. He just, I don't really know anything about military, but I think he just like graduated and they're going to go see him for the first time in, in months. And so they're really excited and, 
um, which is really awesome. I'm sure she misses her baby. And she's going to get to see, I don't know if this is public news, but, well, I'm making it public. She's going to get to see Michelle. So, Lori has met Jess in real life, and now she's going to meet Michelle. And then Lori and I have met in real life as well. Okay, I said three or four, so I'm going to do, I'm going to do one more. I think I'm going to do a regular book page. I like these math papers with the numbers. Uh, let's see. Lori is so fun. I will definitely tell her. Um, yeah, I was the first time we met in real life was, um, and she told me we actually. Um, I think I I must have already moved here, or maybe I was visiting. I I don't really remember. And um, she was telling we went and did a trip, and we went to Tuesday morning when they still had craft stuff and I actually it's a like a what do you call that like the main store or whatever um and so sh we went and I was able to get some really cool Tim Holtz um stamps I think I'm gonna flip this in and you guys um yes no it's not an outlet it's like their main store. I want to say it's flagship, but I don't know if that's the correct term. Um, and so we went back, I don't know, a few months ago and it was still there, but it was more like just a regular Tuesday morning and they didn't have anything. And we asked about it and they were like, no, we're not really carrying craft stuff anymore. I was like, well, that's a bummer. Um, you're thinking <laughs> mothership, yeah. You make your signatures longer than the envelope. Does that make sense? Yes. So hold on, let's see. Yes, some of them will be peeking out. So if you look here, oh, yeah, hold on. Let me try to get you guys further away. It's hard because if you're I'm filming with my phone. And so if I have you too far up, hang on a sec. Then I can't read the comments, but then you guys can't see. So, okay, hold on one sec. Sorry, guys. I think that might be a little better. Uh, maybe your tutorial. Oh, my husband is not in the military. Everybody asks us that because we move around a ton. Um, we've just taken promotions. And when the kids were little, we, so my kids were born in California. My husband and I met in high school in Florida. And um, then we were really young and we moved here to Texas for a few years. And then moved to California, North Carolina, then got an opportunity to go back to Florida, but this time we were in central Florida. So like kind of near Disney, about an hour north of Disney. And Florida is definitely home for us. And then he got an offer to go. We thought Florida, would, that was our forever home and we were going to stay. And then he got a an offer to go to Michigan. Um, and I kicked and screamed the whole time. I think I've talked about it before um, a little bit. It I struggled with it a lot because, well, I'll go into that another time, but I struggled with it a lot. I was very negative about it. And so I think a lot of negative stuff, like that's what I saw because I was so negative about it. And then um, COVID hit and oh, I probably shouldn't have said that, uh, that word. <laughs> it hit and we got locked down and it was like, the end of the, like, it was like Armageddon in, in Michigan. It was really crazy. And we had found out that we were coming to Texas. And at that point, we loved the house that we were renting a house there. And it was beautiful. And it had a huge basement. And I had a huge craft room. And um, one day I'll do it like a, I think I took videos of it. Um, and it was so beautiful. 
And then I was like, oh, well, I don't want to go. But it was crazy because we were watching the market in Texas and houses were flying off the market. And we're like, how if everything's locked down? Like in Michigan, we had curfews and stuff and you weren't allowed out at certain times and all this stuff. And in the grocery store, only a certain amount of people could go in. All the aisles, like you could only go up and down one way. And um, we came here, nobody's even wearing masks, nothing. And this was like in the mid, like we're in 2020, not like 21. And there was a small pocket of time where, um, Texas was like, no, we're not going to do anything. And that's when we had come to visit. When we came back, they, they they got more strict and ended up doing mask mandates and stuff again. But anyways, um, I always laugh and I tell everyone I came here and they were like, what germs? And you'd give them your credit card. They'd lick it, stick it in the machine, lick it and give it back to you. Like they were like, there's no, nothing going on. And meanwhile there, it was like total lockdown. But anyways, that being said, I was with my family a lot. I better keep going. Um, and we just, kind of had a really good time <laughs> locked down together. And um, my kids and I, we started playing Animal Crossing together, which is a game uh, a um, on the Nintendo Switch. And it's like a little, it's really cute, actually. I love the game. <laughs> and uh, we started playing that together. And so it was just a nice, quiet time. My husband was still working, but from home. And then we... Finally, we found this house, and like I said, the market here was going crazy. It was kind of, I mean, honestly, insane. We couldn't believe that things were selling like it was, and um, we got this house, and we've been here now almost two years, so I don't know what the future holds, but yes, so he's in the automotive industry, but no... um, no uh, military for us. Anyways, that was a long story long. But I do use that, the time in Michigan really taught me a lot. And I think, um, obviously, I mean, hopefully, I grew from it because um, it was you know, definitely a learnable moment. And I do think that God gives us those times where he teaches us lessons. I always think of it like he gives us a lesson. And then if we don't learn, he gives it to us a little bit, a little stronger. And then we don't learn and it's a little stronger. So uh, anyway, so hopefully I passed that. But I had uh, several nervous breakdowns. <laughs> While I was there, like I went to a grocery store one time and (laughs) to go in the grocery store, you had to pay to park. And it was just a grocery store like Kroger or Tom Thumb, you know, like a grocery store, Albertsons, whatever. And um, I'm trying to find, I need to get food and I'm trying to find someone to help me. And I'm asking one of the employees like, hi, can you tell me, like, how do I pay for this? Like, can I pay through an app? I don't have coins. Like, how do I pay for this? And he was just like, I don't know. And I just, like, lost it in the store. I finally, I think I ran someone else. Like, I had to run a few people down. And um, it's very different coming from Florida. People are more um, outgoing, probably too much. And so in up north, I found that people were more reserved. And so it was really hard for me. And I had been told like, oh, you're going to be a lot when you go up there. And I was like, no, I make friends everywhere. And um, it was hard because it's definitely a different culture. It's a, we were just outside of Detroit, which has been through some stuff and, you know, through the years. And um, what I found was everybody was so kind once you get to know them, but there was definitely like a frosty exterior in the beginning. Um, Yes. Um, Yeah, definitely. I mean, hopefully I, I did learn. I think my kids were like, okay. But it was funny because when we found out we were coming here, I was kind of like, oh, I don't want to go now. I love it here. And so, because we had been, you know, locked up and, um, 
I grew up in South Florida where it's very aggressive. If you've ever been down there, a lot of people say, you know, it's comparable to like New York because it's you and we do have a lot of people from New York in South Florida. But um I don't know where I was going with that. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I can't do two things at once. Okay, we did two signatures. Let me let me go to I'm going to wait on that one. Let's do this one first, and I think I'm going to leave this page. Oh, and this one I did, this coffee dye, I did it with the stencil. So I, like I said, I put the stencil down, sprayed it, and and then this must have been the ghost print. No? I don't know. Yeah, I think, I think this is the opposite, yeah, of each other. So anyways, um... But yeah, and I actually, the best part for me about being up north was the weather, which is kind of crazy. Everybody's like, oh, the weather's so terrible. I loved it. I Other than the, you got a lot of cloudy days and that's kind of hard not having sun, but um, the, the snow was so like just glorious. I loved it so much. So I did not complain about that. And that was the one thing that I noticed, like everybody there, they would be angry that it was still cold. And it's like, well, I like it. <laughs> but um, we were fortunate enough to have a, like a service to come and um, like shovel the driveway and stuff. So, you know, we were a little spoiled. We didn't have to deal with a lot of those things. And I'm sure if I did, I probably wouldn't have liked it either. I'm from Minnesota and love the seasons. Oh, yeah. But, Liz, when you guys have, this is what I'll say. Up north, spring and summer is the most beautiful, and fall, they're the most beautiful seasons I've ever seen. It's like a movie, like butterflies out and rainbows, and it's so beautiful like it's so beautiful it's crisp and it didn't get late there until late at like during the summer it didn't get late until I don't know um like 10 o'clock at night or something I remember being with the kids and <laughs> going to get ice cream we were riding around like late at night I'm a night owl by nature and both of my kids unfortunately are and um and so, yeah, I loved, I loved the seasons. I did miss the ocean. The ocean's probably the, how pretty is this paper? This one came out really good. And I have not put any of my papers in here. So I think I'm going to, this is one of my favorite colors. Um, from Illinois in spring and fall. Yes, um, the fall is like pictures like it's so honestly like it, it was just so beautiful there and illinois we went i did not say illinois i meant to say illinois is it blended I promise. okay um when i would drive our house hadn't sold yet in florida and so we were driving back and forth and we got to really experience a lot of the seasons just going through because we went through Kentucky and Tennessee, Ohio, Georgia, Florida, and then Michigan. So it was really pretty. And my daughter was like mostly my co-pilot and we just had a really good time. We'd usually stay, break up the trip into two days and stay in um, Knoxville or... There was another town, like, outside of um, Atlanta, like, an hour north of Atlanta that we used to stay. I can't remember. I'm going to add another one of the papers. I was saying, this one's one of my favorite prints. Um, I just, I love the dark with the light. These are also my favorite. Like, that's why there's so many of these in the freebie kit, because I kept messing with them and I was like, oh no, I love the, the dark color like this one. And then I was like, no, I love the, the light color. So 
Um, so you guys got all of them. And if you don't know, that freebie kit is already up in my, in the story. No, let me say that again. In my Instagram bio, in the link tree, you'll be able to find the, the free kit. Um, and you guys that purchased it, you I went ahead and sent it to you already. So you don't have to do that. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, moving's hard, I feel like. And when my kids were younger, it was easier to move. As they got older, the moving got harder. Um, maybe I'll do, no. Do, loo, loo. They're not gonna be next to each other, so it doesn't matter, but. Let's see. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to use one of these. These are really cool. And my printer, I have a laser jet printer. So that means it takes toner instead of ink. And it's got its positives and negatives. The positive is that it dries almost immediate. Also, I can, like, coffee stain it after it's printed because the ink doesn't, like, it embeds or something. I don't know the, the you know, the science behind it. But a negative is I cannot print borderless. And so that's where Lori really helped me because all my stuff was printing with borders and some of it printed with like a thick border like this. And so um, she was able to tell me like with on her end, which ones were the correct border and which ones aren't. And then, you know, anyone who has, well, I think almost anyone who has a printer or borderless printer can just um, pick that on their settings and then they get they're they're fortunate and they get like this where it goes all the way across no I'm happy that you're talking I appreciate that um, I'm still over there um, Susan, are you in, okay, that's what I was going to ask you. So are you just, do you just visit Oklahoma because of your daughter or do you actually like live there? My mom usually comes and stays with us like six months out of the year. So I get that probably pretty much since my kids were born, which is nice since she's not local. And so they've always had her around, which is Really nice. I didn't have that. And I know your grandkids are going to just have wonderful memories of that forever. What am I doing here? I'm like a squirrel. Did you guys see, um, not to fangirl or whatever, but um, Leslie of um, 507 Willow House Journals, she got, um, she got, oops, I think this is too big. Um, sorry. She made it on Ingrid, think, 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 Ruby and Pearl's design team. And today she released a video this morning of her design team project and it's darling. And she's darling. Her whole, like, i love her she has some paper that her mom used to write in shorthand that's what kind of reminded me um her mom used to write in shorthand and so she asked her to just write a bunch of shorthand for her and so she has all these papers and then she sticks them in her journal and she's like oh I have a piece of my mama oh, so sweet Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm in, I'm just, I'm in between Dallas and Fort Worth right now. 12 years ago, I still have a hard time with the summer here. Yes. Well, the summer here is pretty, pretty brutal. So I'm sure Arizona, cause like we lived in California for a little bit. So we would go to Arizona and, um, I just remember they had the little, um, what do you call like those misters everywhere, like at the restaurants and stuff everywhere you'd go because it's so hot. 
the first time that I was ever, that I ever went through Phoenix, we were flying and I told my husband, I was like, oops, I did something wrong. I told my husband, I was like, oh, the, the engine on this, on this, um, plane is so hot. Like I can feel it. And he was like, no, that's, that's the, the, <laughs> the, the weather. I was like, no. Okay. So, so this is my first signature. Let's pin this so that I feel a little overboard here. So I think I'm going to cut that down just a little bit. Um, so yeah, it can definitely get hot. California is beautiful because in where we were in Southern California, it's like 75 degrees like year round. It's so nice, but it's crazy. And it was a huge culture shock for me going from Texas to California. You know, we were so young and um, everything was like three times the price. Like I could not believe it. They didn't even have Walmarts. Like when we were in San Diego, the closest Walmart was like, like far, like an hour away. Like I had to try to find a, a, like a, like a super Walmart. They had like the little Walmart, like old, I don't know. I don't even know, like a little Walmart, but they did not have the big Walmarts. And I was like, how do you guys not have, you know, in the South, it's all about Walmart. Yeah, with Union Pacific. Oh, that's so awesome. Um, Joanna, that's a that's trains, correct? Okay, let's do I clip this? Yeah. Two, three. Yes. Okay, so my husband's like obsessed with trains. Like he we used to have <laughs> in our formal living room and when we lived in North Carolina my kids were little and they were not like allowed in that room but when you walked into the house and it was a huge train table and it was a like a little steam engine like it actually had steam out of it it's huge and he was always like you're crafty you know let's build some like mountains and stuff and we never did and the stuff's all boxed up now we haven't had it out for a little while but anytime like specific trains come by here we go out and go visit them and stuff and um he loves trains so that's really really cool okay what do you guys think so i'm gonna i'm gonna um pause here for a second so i've got some signatures right here i've got the signatures here and then on this side i have signatures that will go right here what do you guys think about adding some signatures to here so it would be here and it would overlap here I could do it like thinner you know it doesn't have to extend what do you guys think I'll let you guys give chime in and then I'll do whatever you guys say hey Michelle wow I can't believe you're on here are you at work are you playing hooky and went in on the phone <laughs> They're like, what are you doing there? He doesn't love trains. <laughs> yeah, that is very true. I had a friend in high school that worked in an ice cream shop and she always smelled so good, but she hated ice cream because she just saw it all the time and she got sick of it. That's what I need to do. I need to go and, uh, and uh, yeah, I have to keep it. We got to keep it down because Michelle's at work and... Um, she can't get found out. <laughs> um, but I need to work at like a sweet factory so I can hate sweets. Um, oh, let me put one of there in mine. You're going to put one in yours? Okay. I have one in love with. Aw, Susan, I love you too. Um, okay, well, I got a one, yes. I need votes, ladies. Very indecisive here. I I can't tell you guys my life story and craft at the same time. <laughs> I'm gonna lose. I'm not. I'm not even listening back to these lives because this is gonna be like what happens in the lives stays in the lives. I miss what you asked. Oh, so I have 
this is the journal. And so you open it up and it's got a, um, a signature here and then behind it has a signature. And then when you open it here, it has a signature. And I think she puts a signature right here as well. So I'm asking, should I put one here? So it would, you know, it'd be like this right here. Um, yeah, I am not a, a desert person, even though I think it's like really good for your health. And Michelle, didn't you just go, well, not just, but um, maybe last year, I think Michelle was, I want to say Phoenix, but I'm not sure. Okay. We're going to go with yes. Um, this um, this paper of like crocheted lace that I bought at, if you guys have ever heard of Canton in Texas, it's a big like flea market, um, like outdoors and indoor market. And, um, I think I got some lace there and I scanned it in and then I added some writing and, you know, mess with the, the settings to make it look dark but isn't that cool? Um, I'm working and trying to watch you. <laughs> I'm all for playing hooky, so. Um, okay, let me finish. I have to go on my tippy toes to look at the, that would be a fun trip is to do a Canton trip. It's like an hour from where I'm at or an hour and a half, something like that. And none of my kids are like, no thanks. They'd rather go to the doctors and get shots. I live with a family of people that do not, they don't respect vintage at all. They're like, you're crazy. They're like your junk. It's not junk. It's so pretty. I love old stuff. My mom, um, their family house, she's like, oh, I got rid of some stuff. I didn't know you liked all those old things. I would have saved some for you. I was like, okay, next time. <laughs> next time you run across some artifacts, and just remember. I like them, but usually in the families, I'm the one that um, volunteers for for um, oops for taking in stuff that nobody else wants. I don't understand that. Like I don't understand, but um, yeah, like I have my husband's grandmother's china, and then her some of her furniture and. I actually would like to paint it, but I've, years, I've been like, no, 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 I can't do it. I can't paint it. And I think I finally had decided I was going to do it, but I haven't done it yet. I have to tell you guys something. Um, Oh, let's see. If you're from all the country, it is town I live in. Oh, really? That's awesome, Diane. What city is it? Yeah, my father in law as well. He's also, so he'd take us all the time. And, you know, I wasn't really into that, but, you know. I pretended for the kids. I'm going to see if I can use this. This is one of my favorites with the green and then the dark blue in the background. You know, you guys are talking about getting along and stuff. And I think that that's what makes this community really great is that I think we all have an affinity for old things and preserving memories and 
um, traditions and stuff. And so, yeah, it's like instant friends. Um, Two hundred and fifteen sheets of music this morning. Oh, that's so awesome. Um, Joanna, did you? I saw that you had put. A, I I guess I missed that it was a video, so I'll have to go back to your page and look. That's so awesome. And where are you at? Are you? Are you? Now I'm getting confused with who lives where, but um. I I did notice like up north. I feel like has more. I was able to find more um, vintage stuff up there. I don't know why. Maybe because the South likes it more. The North was like, eh, this is junk. I don't know. I'm just saying. Maybe. That's why. But, like, there was a um, Salvation Army there um, that I used to go to, and I could get books for, like, 25 cents. Like, that is not a thing here. Yes, Illinois, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited, Susan. I can't wait to see. And you guys, um, I have another. I actually, so Lori and Michelle and Jess pretty much know this. Um, I've been working on kits for years, like for a few years. And I was on design teams and I was like, oh, I can't release a kit because I don't want to hurt this person's feelings or that person's feelings. And finally... I just um, did the first kit, which was the nautical kit, which I was working on. You guys probably saw some of the reels. And I will release that one, but maybe later in the year. But I have like three in the works still. So I think one is almost completely done. And it won't be as big as this one, but um, it will still be floral and pretty. You know, I just look at them like, what would I like to have? And I don't know if you guys saw Nanda. She combined um, half-price books. But I've noticed that um, the half-price books is almost as expensive as the Barnes & Nobles now. Like, I went in the other day. I used to be able to go in. Sorry for moving the camera. I used to be able to go in and pick up, like, I like art books. And um, I love botanical books because you guys know I love doing abstract watercolor and florals and I would pick up botanical books for like you know 10 bucks or whatever and now like I went in the other day and I saw one for like 40 dollars and I was like that's insane but I think this area is just growing so fast and so that's the you know the growing pains with that uh, let's see yeah, I don't think I would have gone to west of Chicago because we were east. Which a lot of people don't know this, but the weather there is a lot um, more severe. So where I was, like Detroit is north of Chicago, but you guys get stronger weather because of the lakes or something. Um, and so we actually only got, like the last year I was there, I yes, it did snow like in May, like we had flurries, but we only got like four big snows, which is not, you know, it's not that bad. Um, yes, I went to one estate sale, my first one, Jess goes to them. And so I finally was like, you know what, I'm going to go because I'm like kind of, I was scared to go. And, um, and it was awesome. What did I end up? Oh, I got some books in um, Dutch. And then I, they didn't have a lot of like this kind of stuff. I did pick up some um, plates and that's about it. But it was really sad, actually. I was telling um, the girls from Elevate that it was really sad for me because I was walking through these people's houses and there was photo albums and they were just left there. And it was just really sad to me that I was like, I I'll take it. I'll It'll live forever in my house. Um, okay. All right. So I think we have the signatures. What time is it? I have no idea. Let's see. I have an iPad. 
244. I'm thinking that maybe um, we'll decorate flea market. You know, I haven't been to any flea markets. Um, I need to look them up and, and go. When I was little, my dad, my dad actually, I think now that it just like clicked right now. My dad loved old things. And so, and he was older. He was, um, he, he was 20 years older than my mom. It's funny because um, Jenny and I on Instagram, she's um, art girl. Gosh, I cannot believe I just forgot her name. Michelle, if you're still on here, I know you. Anyway, she and I were talking about that, how that was like normal back then, but now it's not. Anyways, um, he loved old stuff, so I probably get it from him. Vintage music books. Yes. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. Oh, isn't that awesome? Like, they're like, this is junk. Who's going to want this? Like, me. So, Liz, um, you can scan it in your computer and then print it and use it. That's what um, I'll be adding. Like, this one page. Hold on. Let me see. The one I added on here. Sorry. My voice is cracking from talking too much. This it's a boy named, you can kind of see his name here. It's Walter, I want to say it's maybe Eager. And this was his, like, I, it's a composition notebook. And it's like his schoolwork. And this looks like it's his timetables. How cute is that? And so, yeah, I'm not going to ever take it apart and use it. But it will, it lives through to you guys. I think of, um... Shakespeare sonnet it's my favorite sonnet and it's um shall I compare thee to a summer's day and at the end of it it says so long lives this and this wait as long as men can breathe and eyes can see so long lives this and this gives life to thee so meaning because he put it he put her into this poem it lives forever as long as that paper lives and I feel that like I that, that does, that, I love that. So anyways, um, that's why I do this. Because I love that. Uh, no, he's not. He passed away, I think 2013. I don't even know. He was, um, my mom and dad had gone to South America to do missionary work. And they are from, originally from there. And they had gone back to do missionary work. And he got sick. And so my brother, who um, we were both taught Spanish at home. Um, I speak it very, like it's broken, but I, I can speak it fluently. It doesn't sound great, but I, I can, like I could go somewhere and be able to get by. They would know I was American, you know, but... Um, my brother didn't hardly speak at all, but he went, um, and they're in Colombia, and he went back to kind of help out and be with my mom and stuff. And he loved it. And he has not come back to the United States since. So it's like kind of crazy. And, you know, it was kind of sink or swim and he had to learn the language, but he loves it. He's really active and in shape and stuff. And so he loves that everything's natural. He gets organic everything and blah, blah, blah. So I've never been there. Um, and because of my husband's work, we haven't gone just because, you know, there's a lot of turmoil there. And anyways, I have a lot of stories. Um, yes. You know, um, Liz, you can also, I know that, um, so I believe the copyright law is anything that was printed previous to 1922, maybe 23, but 22 to be safe is public domain. And so you can take that to like Staples or Kinko's or any places like that that have like the large bed printers and you probably can scan it. I don't know if you, it would be worth it because then you'd have to try to digitize is it oh but they might be able to scan it and print it for you so like even if you don't like have the digital copies if you just print them that you could do, do that too or you could do both yeah we have a I have a lot of <laughs> a lot of stories so anyways now that we did that yeah I'm gonna I am definitely not listening back to <laughs> 
<laughs> to this one. You guys have been like my, um, um, what do you call that? The psychiatrist. And I'm like sitting on the couch telling you guys my life story. <laughs> this is how I feel. Yes, very diverse. Um, yeah, you know, I don't think about it because I, you know, I don't. But when I talk about it, I'm like, oh, that is interesting. You know, like, oh, yeah, that's not everyone's same perspective or, you know, like, um, yeah, it was de definitely different growing up with him. He was very, um, like I said, I mean, I didn't know we weren't, we did not talk about age at our house. Like it was very, it's funny because the South is very true to like what the way that he raised me. My mom was more like hippie love child and like when she met him and which obviously accounts to that that age difference but oh she's gonna listen to this she's gonna be like what are you talking about <laughs> okay anyways um he was very uh particular about like girls sit like this girls should wear pantyhose girls should wear high heels girls should wear lipstick and so I have some of that stuff um still in me that he you know and then my mom was kind of the opposite and, um, anyways, I don't know what I, why I, I got, I just remember that she's been listening. So, hi, mom. Um, oh, yeah, that Shakespeare quote, so pretty. That and the, my other favorite is Robert Frost, um, it's from the book, The Outsiders. I can't think of the quote right now, but. Oh, same as your dad. Yeah. And so it was definitely a different. So I grew up doing all those things when nobody else was doing that in school. Nobody was doing those things except for me. And um, the first time I saw girls eat chicken wings, I was actually in high school and it was with my husband. We were dating at the time and he took me to a wing place. I'd never even heard of wings. And, um, and I grew up in Florida, like, you know, um, <laughs> as a matter of fact, I went home and I was like, guys, th well, the first time I went, I was like, I can't eat with my hands. This is disgust. Like how, what? Like, no, no. There was like sauce everywhere. I was like, no, I can't do that. Then and finally I, um, he got me to eat them at a different time. And I came home and I was like, guys, there's these things. They're called chicken wings. And then they, they got addicted to them. So I used to hoard everything. I know. I can't do it, Michelle. Like the old stuff, I'm... Um... <laughs> oh, thank you, Liz. The old stuff is just like really hard for me to... Yeah, I love Michelle's view on things of like, if it brings you joy, use it, like use it up. And she also um, doesn't hoard. And so, which is like really refreshing, but I'm not there yet. It's like baby steps. I'm going to, I'm going to try to get there. Um, and I'm going to tell you guys something about Michelle. She is very neat. And I don't know why it kind of, um, because, you know, she likes to do mixed media and stuff. And so I'm like, she'll pr probably die at this, but that's usually what my desk looks like. Like I'm, and it goes on that side too. That's the junk side. But anyways, um, <laughs> I think I was joking with her, telling her she needs to come and help me organize because I'm like, and I've got it, like I'll organize it and I'll get it good. And then, one day in here and it's like Tasmanian devil went through here. But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and start saying goodbye because I think the video is long enough. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cover. <laughs> yes, you need to come. <laughs> You'll be, I have a garage. Uh, it's a small garage, but it still has boxes from two years ago. So, <laughs> anyways, yes, I need I need help. Um, if you want to help me in your family, Ingrid. Um, yes. So, 
Um, it was my mom, dad, my brother, and I, just the the two of us, two siblings, and we're two years apart. And then um, I have two kids. I have a son that is 18 and a daughter who's 16, and they both kind of just turned. Um, and so my son is a senior this year. My daughter is a, wait, she's going to, wait, what, she's going to be a junior? <laughs> we homeschool, so um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think she's still... Yeah, she's a junior. She'll be a senior the following year. So, um, yeah. So, and then we have four dogs. We have the two sheep -a doodles the black and white ones, and then we have two cockapoos, like little dogs. One of them's like twenty pounds, and the other one's like I don't know ten or something like that. So, they were the kind of the original. And we had another one, a little Maltese. She was old, and she was I don't know if you've heard the jokes about like the little old white dogs but she was a little old white dog and she we just lost her like not that long ago like right after we got the puppies so anyways so yeah we have a full full house here and then my mom comes to stay with us like I said um usually at least a few months out of the year but my brother got um, married and has a little girl and she's six. She just turned six and, um, I've never met her. I've only met her over, like we talk on uh, messenger, like FaceTime type. And so, um, but anyway, so now, you know, it's kind of hard for my mom to come here because she needs her more than, you know, my kids are older and they're doing their own things now. And so she, she's, so it's always like, your kids don't need me like they used to, like, you know, and she taught my daughter how to like make things like eggs. Like my, she's been, my daughter's been able to like pretty much help with anything in the house since she was like eight, nine years old. And so she's like a huge, huge help at the house. But, um, you know, my mom's like, oh, she, she doesn't need me to do. And I was like, well, you taught her how to do everything. So... Oh, you guys are meeting tonight? Okay, hold on. Let me go through the, the videos. <laughs> yeah, we'll film a, a video of Michelle coming over and being, like, horrified. It'll be one of those, like, YouTube, like, she wasn't prepared for <laughs> what she found. <laughs> Yeah, that it was that was my daughter's dog, so it was harder on her. But she had been like like to the point she was already blind. You know, she had a she lived a very long life, so we were it was still hard, but yeah. Um Yes, we definitely should record it. I can't believe that you guys are gonna have dinner tonight. I knew you guys were having dinner. I don't know why I thought it was further away. That's so cool. reality YouTube exactly that's so cool <laughs> yeah if she comes here no no surprises <laughs> uh, yeah no surprises <laughs> I need like months in advance I'm the one that like if a cleaning lady was to come I'm cleaning before the cleaning lady because I don't want her to think I'm a slob like no I'm sorry you guys see this, but it wouldn't be like this if any of you came over. Yes, she, yes, Michelle, you are too organized. I know I'm jealous too. Michelle and I have been talking about, I think the two of us are more like gung ho with it, but about doing a retreat and having everyone get together. I went. I used to scrapbook like a long time ago and um, I went on a scrapbooking retreat. I think I've been on a couple, but um, Lori invited me, her church did like this craft retreat and it was so nice. We had such a good time and it was just awesome. And we want to do it. Yeah, at least a month. Yes, and Susan's not far. We've talked about doing a um, a meetup and going to 
um, that we have a, it's a Japanese store. It's like a Dollar Tree, but it's Japanese and they've got the cutest things. And so, um, we were talking about going to one of those. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know Michelle's our, um, definitely our type A planner, like get it done girl. The, three of us, I think Jess was saying like, we all have type A tendencies on certain things. Um, but we're definitely more like the do -lo 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 -lo. and Michelle's more like, okay, come on, let's get a plan. Let's get it together. Let's put it in writing. Let's do it. And, um, so yeah, so Michelle's going to need to, um, she's going to need to be our, our like head coordinator on a retreat, but I would love that. I know um, some girls that we know are going over to the Whatever Craft House. If you've never heard of that, you have to look it up. I think it's in Kansas, and it's so awesome. Like, her stairs, am I saying this right, Michelle? Have you been there? Um, I think the stairs are, like, rainbow color, and it has, like, scripture written on them. It's so cool. I've been following her since, like, the days of blogs. Oh, yay, you got two signatures done. Yes. Honestly, everyone, <laughs> Michelle's like, yes, but very expensive. What's expensive? The retreats. Yeah. And I guess we were, you know, saying, I guess it depends on where they're at. Uh, let's see. Let's go in October, but I had to cancel because of my health now. Yeah. Oh, Susan, you're going with Cammie and um, Amy? To the whatever craft house. Oh, so jealous. She, like back in like blog days, which I know blogs are still a thing, but like when it was mainly blogs, she would, girls would go and stay at the house and then they would go to some kind of vintage flea market and buy quilts, like these gorgeous quilts. And I literally, I think I wanted to go just for the quilts. So, oh, Susan, that's so awesome. Um, if you go, you'll have to tell me if you guys go to the vintage market and if you get quilts, if you find any, if they're cheap, if they're not, I've seen some, but like now, like I said, here in Texas, like all that stuff's expensive. So a handmade quilt is going to be, you know, a couple hundred dollars, a hundred, you know, whatever. So, uh, the shop in Newton is one of the best I've ever been to. Uh. Oh, yeah. I think that would be so much fun. So, okay, everyone, um, let's, I don't want to say gang up on Michelle, but let's get Michelle to get us a retreat going. And Michelle, it's got to be close to everyone. It's got to be inexpensive. <laughs> hey, we could do it like we're, we don't even need their food. We could like, you know, cook our, you know, every, I don't know. I don't know. I've never, like I said, I'm, I'm like kind of a novice, so I don't know that much, but, um, I went out to stay with Amy. Oh, that's so awesome. It is what's possible, Michelle, that we're going to do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I know. I think Michelle and I, we were on the phone with Lori and we were like, okay, we're, who's, who's in. And I think the two of us were like, yeah, let's, let's do it. Um, you know, with Lori transition trans right now with her son and everything, um, you know, the first year's the hardest and stuff. And so I think that once she gets through this and then, you know, I've, I've got my kids in tennis and once the school year starts, which we just started for us. And so, you know, we get, you know, things get in the way, but, um, Yes. You guys go on all kinds of retreats. Nothing impossible for God. Yes. Okay. Yes. That's, I think that's actually a great idea. Let's pray about it. Everyone um, be in prayer over it. And that if, you know, if it's God's will that it'll come together and we will all get to meet, that would be really awesome. Yeah. But you also work full time, Michelle too. So it's not like you're, you know, have nothing on your plate. You have a lot on your plate. Maybe yes yeah, start saving and planning I know although 
I think if it's, I think we should do like, like winter or fall or spring, <laughs> anything but summer. But actually, it doesn't matter. Oh, you know, if you guys follow Gail Augustinelli, she was just at a retreat. I don't know where they're at. And it's funny because I, I watched, part, somebody posted a video. It wasn't her. I don't remember who it was, but they posted the video and they were showing the outside of the house. And I was thinking, that's the retreat house? Like, mm, okay. And when she went inside, the inside, it looks like a small church. Like it's completely open and they had just craft tables everywhere. And I was like, I told my husband, I was like, I want that one day. I would love to run something like that. Um Hold on, let's see. My appointment's here. Oh, thank you, Michelle. So happy that you could um, come and hang out with us. Yeah, late spring. That sounds good to me. I just, but you know, what I was going to say is if you're inside, it doesn't really matter. But yes, um, the, you know, if we do outdoor activities. I'm, I have a friend that um, she and I used to go on cruises together um, and what was my point? Oh, we, instead of being like a three day cruise, it would always be like the seven day. And I was like, let's stay a little longer. So I'm that person. I'm the one that doesn't want to go home at the end of the night, but like, come on, let's, let's stay out. Let's, let's chat. And so anyways, so I'm like, yeah, let's make it like a full week. That would be awesome if we could do that. But yes, Liz, you're totally right with God. All things are possible and never say never, but, um, yeah, I'm very thankful for each and every one of you. Um, and I'm so happy that you guys are on the same journey with me and that we're doing even like this little project together. It's so much fun. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, I'm a talker. When I used to do, uh, swaps with people, I did happy mail and <laughs> I'd get a lot of on my YouTube videos. Like you chat a lot. You talk too much. <laughs> I was like, yeah, sorry, I do, I do. I can't, um, Lori and I have this in common, we don't like silence, and it's like, okay, so it's like really hard for me sometimes, I have to wait for you guys to respond because it's on a delay, and I'm like, I just keep talking until they respond, and then by that time, I'm knee deep in a conversation with myself. Oh, bye, Jean. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So we've got our four signatures. Let me go over them really quick. One, two, uh, three will be right here. And then four is on the inside. And so um, we will come back on the, what I think it's Thursday. It's either Thursday or Friday. I think it's Thursday at 4 p.m. Central Standard. And so if you guys want to have your signatures inside, you can staple them in or you can um, do a stitch. You can do an, a simple like this, like where it's just two holes. And so just bind it in however you want. You can add bows if you want or you can leave it plain. Um, and then decorate this. So what I would do here is I would just like add, you know, paper on top and then not so I, I'm not going to decorate it decorate it but I'll have it filled so it's not white so anyway um oh thank you so much Liz appreciate all your oh thank you yes you are the sweetest that comment you left on I think on Lori's or on mine it was just so sweet Anyways, I really, you have no idea how much I appreciate that. And I, and honestly, I'm saying that to all of you guys. Um, you've been a huge blessing in my life. So thank you so much. But okay, this time I'm going to say goodbye, short and sweet. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you on Instagram later today. Bye.